Hello guys, having fun? <laughs> Today you're going to learn, yes you are going to learn how to make this. You're not going to run off halfway through and think, oh man, I can't do this no more. You're going to do it, you're going to learn it. So you're going to learn how to make this smoke effect, alright, on the screen. So what we're going to do is, we are going to get rid of all of it. We're going to throw it away. And I bet you're thinking, oh man, so here we are. I'll give you this background in a link, you can download it, it will be in the description. So first we want to create a black background, so choose your colour black, make sure you chose colour black, go down here, click this and it will make a new layer. If you can't click that, go to layer, new and layer and make it. Once you're on that, get your bucket tool, paint bucket tool, make the colour black. Now, once you've done that, what you want to do is get a text tool. And to make your colour white by clicking this little tab here, switches the colours. Or if you can't switch the colours, go here and choose white. Once we've done that, we'll create a text. What should we write? Should we write um what should we write? Smoke guys? We'll write smoke. Okay, so nice capital letters. We have smoke. Simple like that. We'll move it to the centre a bit. Bang on like that. Yeah. <laughs> right, once you've done that, what you want to do is hold shift and click on the other layer. So layer one, which is a black layer, and smoke, we're going to merge. So right click on them and go to convert smart object. Right, once you've done that, go to filter and go to distort. Once you're on distort, you want to go to wave. Now on wave, we want to keep the number of generators at five. Wavelength, we want the max at 900, so change that to 900. Hopefully you have your Photoshop open, guys, and you're following this. Done that. Now, on a minimum, change it to 10. Amplitude, we want minimum of 5. Max, we want 75. Scale, horizon, horizontal, we want 1%. Vertical, we want 100%. Now, over here, you have sign you have repeat edge pixels, keep those ticked. Now here you have the randomize. It gives you different different little shapes. We want one that's almost straight but has a slight, there we go, look at that, perfect. Has a slight bend, we don't want it really wonky, we want it straight but a very slight. Now press OK once you've done that. And now we have this, okay? Now what we want to do is go to filter and go to blur. Okay, now go to motion blur. While you're on motion blur, because our background's smoke is coming from the right side, we're going to keep the angle at zero, zero degrees. We, s we can click this and change the motion. We can change the angle of the motion blur. We're going to keep it at zero. Okay, the distance, we'll keep it at 20 pixels because that's fine. We'll press OK. Now, what you want to do is go back to Filter and go to Blur and then go to Gaussian Blur. Gaussian blur. And we'll keep the radius at, let's keep it at, what should we have? 9, 12, we'll keep it at 9. If you can't get 9, maybe you get 9.1. <laughs> Press OK. That's done. See, guys, we have this little smoke effect already, but that's not what we want. Now, over here, you're on a smoke layer, go to normal, which is up here, and go to color dodge. Click that, and now we have this. What color dodge does is actually, it, it kind of inverts the colors. It's very weird, it's hard to explain, but this is what it does. Now, while you're on color dodge, I mean on a smoke layer, double click on Gaussian blur, and you'll bring up the tab for the Gaussian blur. You can change the intensity of the radius, if we put it all the way down, we just still have our text. If we do this, we can actually make it blur away. So much blur that it actually fades into the background. So I'll have that. And we can have the motion blur. Double click on the motion blur, you'll get this. Press OK. And we can change, we can mess around with the angle, but we don't need to. Just press OK. You don't need to do anything there, guys. And over here, we have the fill. Now click on the fill and you can change the amount you want to be visible. I'll keep it just about that. 
there. I'll keep it like that. Then once you've done that, you can right click on background and you can flatten the image. So there you go guys, that's your smoke text effect. And you could do that whenever. Learn it, master it and try to create different types of things. You could do it with buildings. You might be able to do it with a bike. I don't know. You might be able to do it with a picture of yourself. Test it out and see what you think. Leave your questions in the comment section if you need help. What keys to press, didn't understand my accent. Leave me comments, ask me, I'll tell you. It's fine. So take care guys and learn Photoshop. What the Photoshop?